It's good to have you with us on this Tuesday, and it's always a joy to look at the examples of the men and women in Scripture, how they faced the difficult times uh, in their lives. The Apostle Paul, on several occasions, uh, was really attacked by the government or attacked by leading officials in the towns that he went to preach the gospel. On his first missionary journey, he had a couple of key crises right during that time, and yet he kept right on going. And as a result, many churches were started and a real movement that was going to eventually move all throughout Europe came because of his willingness to continue on in the midst of opposition. In fact, it's very interesting uh, that they, at Antioch of Pisidia, were run out of town, basically. Persecution came against them. And we read in the very last verse of chapter 13, verse 52, And the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Ghost. We find that on several occasions. Instead of being distressed, instead of being uh, hurt personally, now they were certainly hurt physically at times, Instead of being discouraged and fearful, we find this supernatural reality of joy. And the key, of course, is they were filled with the Holy Ghost. You find that Paul and Silas in the prison in Philippi. You find that with Peter and John at the initial time of the opposition of Sanhedrin. And they were beaten there and uh, were released. And they were filled with joy for the privilege of uh, standing for the Lord Jesus Christ. And I want to encourage all of us to realize that persecution in one form or the other may begin to bear in on us. Our churches are inevitably going to face this opposition to Christianity. If we will do right and not worry about ourselves, have the right kind of testimony, just keep right on going, have the love of God, but be firm, whatever opposition we may face, I promise you it will bring the greatest joy that we know. The Lord Jesus said, blessed are you when men persecute you. And God brings a special blessing to those that stand in his stead. The very little times I've had to really suffer for the cause of Christ, I can say just in, in a little bit of, a, of an experience that there is such joy in those times. Jesus meets with you. His presence is very real. And there's such a depth of a sense that this is what life is about. I'm standing with Jesus Christ. So as we look at the future, who knows what's going to happen? We may be facing some opportunities for great joy, just like the disciples did. They stood with Christ. And may we do the same thing. And may we not be afraid. Let's don't worry about ourselves but realize that whatever needs we'll face, God will take care of us and he will fill our hearts with his spirit.